hello welcome to the AEA solutions channel in this video i'll be presenting to us rectilinear motion which is um, a first part of kinematics of particles we've talked about kinematics of particles and its definition both and um, definition for kinetic kinematics and particles in a previous video that borders on the introduction to dynamics in this video will just um, focus on its linear motion and some of its formulations and before we commence let's look at some nomenclature for this um, topic anywhere we want to talk about displacement we we'll place it with symbol x for velocity we'll be using v for acceleration we'll be using a and time we will be using t y d the t will be will serve as a derivative i so to pro proceed from there it's a linear motion simply is a motion along a straight line and um, instantaneous velocity is the velocity at any instant in time at any particular time the instantaneous velocity is the rate at which displacement is changing with time so v is given as the s the t for then also instantaneous acceleration which is the acceleration at any point in time is given as the rate at which velocity is changing with time so a is equal to dv dt and if we bring these equations together v is equal to ds dt and a is equal to dv dt we say these are the two key equations we shall be applying as far as um, rectilinear motion is concerned for for kinematics of particles so these two equations if we bring them together so if we place the value of v in the acceleration term with its value we get that a is equal to d dt ds dt and this can be written as a is equal to the 2s dt square that is to say acceleration is also equal to the second derivative of displacement with respect to time and also if we bring that our two equations and we make dt subject of the formula then we bring out the second one for acceleration and we make dt the subject of the formula as well and therefore we can write out this to be dv over a is equal to ds over v if you cross multiply you get a third equation and if you introduce the integral sign you get another equation and as a result we've gotten four equations that are useful for a linear motion the first one is our instantaneous velocity which is equal to ds dt we have the value for our instantaneous acceleration which is equal to dv dt we have another term for acceleration which is the second derivative of distance and finally we have a third term which is of integral form v dv integral is equal to integral a ds it's a linear motion could be uniform motion that is to say when the motion has constant velocity or the acceleration is zero it could be uniformly accelerated motion that's the motion in which the velocity is changing at a constant acceleration that's acceleration a is constant and finally the non-uniform finally the non-uniform accelerated motion a motion in which the acceleration changes with either position or time or velocity now these are the key concepts or the different variations these are the different variations that we're going to be seeing as far as the linear motion is concerned thank you for your time i do hope that this was informing 